Um, so this is Geiger's MRI. It's an MRI of his neck. Here's, um, you see the back part of his brain. Um, and then it goes, this is the trachea. And we're looking at the spinal cord. And um, this is slices long ways and this is short ways. If you scroll through, um, you can see how there's a divot up here. Um, and if we scroll through on here, you can see how it is compressing the spinal cord around here. Um, and that's from an instability lesion um, because the, of the vertebral malformation. Um, so what he's gonna do is he's gonna go in where this disc space is collapsed. He's gonna put in um, a disc. Um, so the approach is similar to what we would do if there was a disc extrusion, like a ventral slot, but he's actually putting in a disc implant. Geiger is an amazing Doberman, owned by Mark, our facility slash purchasing manager. And Geiger has a classic Doberman problem. He's got wobblers. Uh, there's two types of wobblers. One is what we see in middle-aged older Dobermans. They call that disc-associated wobblers. And then the other type of wobblers is in um, giant breed young dogs like St. Bernard's and Great Danes and Mastiffs. They call that osseous associated wobblers or the bone. So anyway, what happens is that there's is that there is an instability. It's definitely a strong genetic component to this. And um, over time the vertebrae shift a little bit, the disc bulges up. Also causes sort of a what we call dynamic lesion where it's sort of the movement is too wobbly, so it sort of bruises the spinal cord slash affects the blood flow to the spinal cord. And then you start having trouble walking and you buckle your legs. So there are dozens of ways to try and fix wobblers. And what we're gonna do with Geiger today is do actually a disc replacement. A good friend of mine developed this about 15 years ago. Um, and the thought behind the disc replacement was that you would help prevent what they call adjacent segment disease, which all that means is that the next vertebrae eventually will have problems. Because if you fix that area and stop the instability, it puts more strain on the discs in front of it and behind it. So if you had a disc that had some flexibility, the goal was that you'd take the pressure off the spinal cord there, the flexibility wouldn't transfer extra pressure to the other vertebrae, and you wouldn't get what they call domino effect or adjacent segment disease. So this is the disc. It's got a, a bone like epoxy on each side, and there's a little thing in the center that gives it some flexibility. But down into the hole that we made, Right there. Then we take those two little stalks out. It has a little ball, this one has a divot, and they fit together know. like this. We'll remove these to uh, kind of they unscrew so that yeah. all that's left is just the disc, but you can see the ball makes it flexible. So as the neck moves, this disc will kind of move with the whole body. 